Hello everybody, Rod Baker here today. Um, I'm in the office today. Um, I've been spending a lot of time out and about on the road and um, a lot of time with my dad and, and uh, other places. I've gotten to spend a lot of time by myself and, um, and then, you know, be here for Lily. Uh, but the thing I want to talk about today is I want to talk uh, about our emotions and, um, you know, our soul is made up of our mind, our will, our emotions, desires, and affections. That's what the soul is made up of. We are spirit, we have a soul, and we're in a body. And so our, that's what our soul is made up of. And, um, you know, one of the things that it says, uh, that the Word says is that um, we're to be spirit-minded, and in being spirit-minded um, is life and peace. And, you know, I don't know about you, but peace is, peace is more valuable than just about anything. So, um, uh, but to be carnal-minded, carnal-minded, to run on those emotions and let your emotions be your guide, uh, it leads to death. You know, and, and when I when I say death, I think that, that that means death means several things, you know, it death spiritually, dead emotionally, dead physically, dead mentally. You know, um can you imagine what it's like to go through depression? You know, there's so many people I know that that that's a battle that they continue to fight is that depression. And in that depression, you know, one of the things that, that I ask for when I start to see those kind of things with me or with others is that they be transformed by the renewing of their mind, renewed, to be renewed mentally. And, um, you know, in the renewing of your mind is when you're able to, to, um, to test and approve what God's will is it, with the renewing of your mind. And, and uh, to me, his will is his good and, and pleasing and perfect will uh, for me is abundant life, a life of abundance. And, and one of the things that I've, I've written down in my Bible long time ago, man, is, is it talked about my purpose and the word of God. The things of God, the, the things that I hear, the fruits of the Spirit, uh, those things result in, in godly thinking. And godly thinking results in godly emotions. And godly emotions result in godly decisions. And godly decisions into godly actions. And godly actions into godly habits. And godly habits into godly character. Character tested, character shown. And we test our character. And, and others test our character because it's only shown when we test it. That's the only time that our character is fully shown. And so uh, with godly character is godly's, God's will. And in that is abundant life. In abundance to the full till it overflows. And I have lived a life of abundance. I have lived a life that overflows. Still do. The things that are happening to me today are because of godly character. Judge me how you wish. You know, if, if you think you know me or if, if you've dealt with me in the past and, and you think that, um, that I don't have godly character, then take it up with God. I promise you. Because he'll move me a whole lot faster than you will. And he does. He moves me from glory to glory to glory. And there's no going back. That's the thing about it is, you know, how big of a belief can you have? And, you know, one of the things that I've had to ask for numerous times is the spirit of truth. Because truth is a spirit. You know, we can, we can all sit around and, and say logically, well, truth is determined by how you perceive it. Well, that's, that's crap. Truth is truth. And so I can... Constantly, constantly and, and, and continuously ask for the spirit of truth. And uh, I can't be free without it. 
And, and I don't believe you could either. So I ask that he lead and guide me in the spirit of truth. And, you know, Jesus said you can do all things, all things through Christ Jesus. Everything, everything he all, ever said was it, it was about all things. But there was one thing he said was impossible. One thing. And that was it's impossible not to offend or not to be offended. You know, that was something that... Uh, that I had to come to terms with was that ability to overcome offense. Because our first reactions are, you know, imagine, um, and check this out. Imagine you still dealing with people like a seven-year-old, but let's say you're uh, 41. But yet you're still dealing with people as if you're a teenager, you know, you still get offended easily. You still find yourself um, shackled by it. And you can't see the truth about it. You can't see that, oh my God, I'm acting like a damn teenager when I, I'm 41 and you would think that. But it takes work. And it takes so much humility. Man, if you haven't read this book by Andrew Murray, Humility, 15 freaking times, then you're missing out. Because I'm telling you right now, it, the information is here. God has made it here. It's for us to grow so that we would have an abundant life. And the hardships that I'm going through right now are not hardships. They're just part of the process. And I love the process. I do. So, you know, I pray that... Um, I pray peace on you. I do. The peace that passeth understanding, I pray peace on you. And, you know, grow. Grow. So, thanks for letting me come to you. I'm going to put this on Facebook, Instagram. And uh, I've, I've got some people that want me to start doing videos on, um, on uh, YouTube. But I'm not ready for that. I'm not. There's too much going on that, uh, you know, I'm, um, I'm looking at a different house and, and um, you know, I'm, I'm doing some things that are requiring a lot of my time. And, uh, and so I'm not going to do YouTube right now, but uh, maybe later we'll see what God's will is, you know. But for me, it's abundant life. Overflowing to the fullest. So thanks for sharing with me. And, and if there's anything I can pray for, for you, or, or if there's something you would like talked about, you know, just message me or call me or whatever. So thanks for letting me come to you. Talk to you later. Bye.